I want to take a moment right now and and pray for those who are sick last Wednesday there was a young man uh, you saw him here his name was Isaiah Williams he's a guy who sings he had a problem with his ears they kept um, there's kept um, some poppings I guess it was popping all the time and when we prayed for him here right before he left um, he asked me to pray for his ears again and I had the opportunity to place my hands on his ears and prayed for him and I am one of those people that I love to right away follow up when we pray for people and I followed up with him during this week three times and um, he sent the testimony again this morning and he said pastor just wanted to say that God has touched my ears and all of the popping is completely gone yeah. amen in this Bible it says surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed our healing is not something we deserve it's something Jesus purchased with the price of great suffering it wasn't easy but today it could be easy to receive because a heavy price was paid I want us to right now agree together as Christians and as believers I want to see healings for many reasons one of them is I want you to experience God's supernatural power on your own body seeing kidney stones disappear from my sister's body is something you can debate you can have a degree in atheism but you will never debate her out of faith in God when you have kidney stones and they disappear seeing you know uh, people when we would go to camps and seeing people's backs being healed and they say guys guys you don't you don't understand this is the first time I've never had a miracle that happened to me this is the first time this is crazy and they, they, they run out of words because it happened inside of this physical body it's the first thing another reason why the Lord wants to heal is because God truly cares for us he cares for our health and our bodies are meant to glorify another reason why is he wants this to be a sign that he is alive that the world will know God is real not because a preacher said so but because you have experienced him in something supernatural that took place in Jesus name amen and so in our church we don't just want to talk about miracles we don't just want to pray for miracles we want to believe for miracles and act on miracles and see them happen in our lives in Jesus name whatever something is great in your body or something is small whatever it is physical or maybe emotional right now I want us to agree we are going to commend any demon behind that sickness to go and we're gonna trust that Jesus through the Holy Spirit will touch you at the point of your need you may say right here right now right here right now why because this Bible doesn't change you may be tired today sick tomorrow and discouraged the day after the Bible is the same yesterday today and forever it doesn't change Jesus doesn't change and our promise in him does not change either in Jesus name can somebody say amen and so right now whatever the part that's in your body that is sick maybe uh, you pulled a muscle or you had something wrong with your knees or you had something wrong with your back or whatever it is I'm gonna ask you right now place your hand on the sick part of your body we're gonna pray together and I see a lot of people's hands going every single place it's okay this is your moment you pray and I'm, I'm gonna lead you in a simple prayer but this prayer has power because Jesus has power I want you to say that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit say my body is not for sickness my body is not for pain say right now I receive the promise of Jesus that in his stripes I am healed and I command every sickness every demon or every curse behind the sickness I command it be broken over my body be broken over my body in Jesus name I command every pain to go every sickness to leave every demon to lose its grip over my body in Jesus name in Jesus name say I receive Holy Spirit's touch I receive God's healing in my body in the name of Jesus 
and some of you will he feel just heat going through your body right now and it's going to be the presence of the Holy Spirit just raise your hand for just a few more minutes or a few more seconds right now father in the name of Jesus I thank you that you are our healer I thank you that you're still the same God yesterday today and forever the same I thank you that your healing is not limited to 2,000 years ago and right now I speak your healing father as your servant and as a person who declares your word let it bring healing to people's bodies let people walk out today without that pain let them sleep without the ear problems let them sleep without that headache let them sleep without that back pain let them sleep and walk without the prey pain in their joints and the pain in their knees in Jesus mighty name father let your mighty fire drive away every illness and every disease blindness and nearsightedness let it leave today in Jesus mighty name father we thank you for your mercy father we thank you for your grace and God we vow to you to give you praise we vow to you to give you glory and to testify of your goodness and of your mercy in Jesus name amen can somebody say amen I'm gonna ask you to do something that you maybe have not done before I want you to move that very exact part of your body where you had pain unless you're Myra every part of her body is in pain <laughs> but I want you to just move that part of your body where you had pain and if you just felt that pain leave the one thing that you must do is you always have to give glory to God and the way you give glory to God you say thank you Jesus and if you notice that part of your body just with just twist it move it whatever the part that you had just, just raise your hand and I just want to rejoice with you and give God glory also just move it right now and we're gonna give Jesus all the glory so actually I just got in a car accident two weeks ago and uh, since then I've had like neck and like right between my shoulder blades this pain I actually just went to the chiropractor today and they took an x-ray of my neck and they said normally your neck is supposed to be curved when you have it straight up but mine is curved and then it goes and then it just it goes straight and I've had pain all in my neck and I couldn't move my neck like this but right now I'm moving it and there's no pain there <laughs> amen amen um, my knee has been hurting and I haven't been able to um, get down on the ground and kneel and then get back up with ease and just now I felt a pop in my knee and it doesn't hurt anymore can you okay so you get over here can you get on your knees and it doesn't hurt no more no it doesn't come on let's give Jesus all the glory Amen. you were praying for um, my ear started hurting in school and uh, it just started ringing ringing like crazy and then uh, I just couldn't hear now uh, I so so during prayer I saw you were placing your hand on your ear correct yeah it just went away Okay. <laughs> I fell, fell in volleyball yesterday and I have this big floor burn on my leg and it's been hurting really bad to the point where I can't sit down without my thigh hurting really bad and so I put my hand on my on my leg and now I can't I'll sit there I sat there tapping on it and it, I can't feel anything on it yeah so come on come on that's all the glory goes to Jesus <laughs>